Welcome to the X Body End. Let's talk hot chat. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm back. I told you I would be. I just didn't know how long it would take. But I'm here from the grace of God, if you will. And I'm doing a special episode today, a new episode of, guess what? Exbodians Let's Talk Pod Chat. And I have a very special guest here next to me, which I'm trying to hide his identity at the moment, so I can give him somewhat of an introduction. This YouTuber here next to me is very different in his own grace, his own style, and he's very raw, to say the least. But he's kind-hearted, and he cares, not only for his own channel, but for all of us out here in the Xbox community. I feel that he should have more recognition more subscribers, a lot more attention, even though his style of doing his own videos is unorthodox for some people, maybe not as professional, but they're real, they feel raw, they feel real urban. I admire him very much, I'm a fan, I met him, luckily, through the community, I was lucky enough to come close to him. I don't want to talk too much because I don't want to tire him from introducing himself. But I ask you guys when you see this video, it's going to be broken down in three parts. I'm going to do an interview to him with him so that you can get to know him in a more personal level. And this way, uh, you guys can see the real person that he really is, which I've been lucky enough and gracious enough to know as the day has gone by today because we've been hanging out basically all day long so far or all afternoon so please be kind be gentle be respectful show them love show them you know your your uh, posture of respect and show the community how we the Xbox community are from a different echelon we're respectful and we're all about helping each other out so without further ado it is my great pleasure and with great humbleness, and actually, I'm, I'm I'm happy that he made it and he came to visit me in my home. From the graciousness of my kitchen, we have with you today. Introduce yourself, guest. Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy, the Ghost of the Most Ghost Rider 730, and I'm here with the most powerful gamer, he body. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. It's a pleasure, he brought man, to be here with you right oh, now. Oh, shit! Came to visit him from New York. Came out here to Jersey to see my boy. What's oh, here he goes. Chill How's everything? Home. I'm all right, man. I've been enjoying myself today. Thank you for, you know, it's having me come over, introducing me to your family. Definitely, my wife is having a good time. You know, oh, I appreciate it. Yes, yeah, another thing, his wife was nice enough to come down with him. Yes. Wonderful young lady. Yeah. You know, very, very kind, just like... Mr. Ghost Rider here himself, and uh, you know we hope that you guys enjoy this. We're gonna try doing this a little different. I yeah. started this segment on my channel a while back. My last guest was, I believe, was either Mr. 100. I didn't even check to be honest. It's been that long, um, but I like doing these so that you can get to know YouTubers on a more personal level. Now the great thing about it was that we were so gracious enough, and we were so lucky enough to that we lived. Close enough that we were able to set this up, which I owe a million to Ghost because it took him an hour and a half to come from where he was to me. And I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart, Ghost. It really means a lot to me. And I appreciate it too, brother. Like, oh, no. I'm, it's a pleasure to have you in my home. I'm glad that you didn't think, yo, I ain't going by that man's house. He's crazy. I don't know that motherfucker. Excuse my language, but it's the truth. <laughs> you know, but, uh, you know, I invited him over. He accepted the invitation. I. He agreed, and we took. It was been a while. We tried to arrange it, but yeah. you know, finally we were able to get to it, and here we are. So hopefully you guys will like it. Hopefully it'll show you a different side of Ghost Rider, which 
I think he's a great person and people need to know him on a more personal and different level than what you see on his channel. Just like myself. A lot of people don't know me as well. Um, and this is for you guys. It's for your entertainment. So, Ghost, uh, you know, thank you for being here. Anytime, bro. Thank you for uh, giving me the graciousness to interview live. Uh, even though this will be recorded to the connect, ladies and gentlemen, because my computer's actually one of them broke down. This is going to be done differently. But I figured the connect has a good quality camera. We just work with it, and I'll break it down in parts, and we'll do it that way. I mean, you'll have to watch multiple videos, but if you're enjoying it, I'm pretty sure you won't mind tuning in for the rest of the parts. Hopefully, that's the plan, and it'll work out that way. So, Ghost Rider, thank you again, like I said. Um, question number one, which is the question I basically ask everyone. Um, how did Ghost Rider, right? 7.30, get involved uh, with gaming. Uh, what was your first introduction to video games from the very first moment of your youngest age to your oldest, you know, in your best description? Um, like, was it somebody in your life, a particular person? Was it an arcade? Was it maybe a good friend, a good cousin, a brother? Um, you know, share with that. With All right. Us. When right. I was younger, my grandfather, well, I call him Papi Willow. Okay. Well, Papi Willow used to take me, and it must have been, I know I'm not crazy or nothing, but I remember being small and playing these arcade, it was an arcade game. Right. I had to stand on the crate. My oh, grandfather popped the quarters, but I remember playing, I remember playing Ultra Beast. Ultra Beast. Okay. On, on one of those arcade things. I okay. know I'm not crazy, but I remember playing that. Then, and how old were you? I, oh man, I was what, uh, maybe five, six, seven around there, like time frames. I know I was young. And long story short, I remember I used to sneak, me and my cousin Seven, and my brother Jonathan, but we used to sneak, and I got my hands on to play the Atari, but we used to get in trouble because you know how it was back then. We was younger, we couldn't touch that. That was right. my uncles and my fathers. They used to have fun, my moms, my aunts. So when they used to leave, and stuff like that. We used to sleep, me and my cousin Seller, and try to play Pac-Man, um, Galaga, right. and Centipede or Millipede. Right. But they had the Atari, so you know I got that stick. And the <laughs> so we was real little, so yeah, yeah, yeah. About, I'm telling you, we would run, we would sneak. Sneak in? And we would try to play it, and my aunt would catch us, get out of there, you know, you're not supposed to touch us. So we used to run real little, you know, and get away. So I had experience on playing those a little bit, you know, watching my, being there as a kid, you know, you're excited, you're watching. Right. You see it. Do, 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 you know, Mario and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. Galaga was my favorite. Okay. Gal that was I, favorite. I was about to ask you. That was my next question, ladies and gentlemen. What was your favorite Atari game? It was Galaga. Galaga. Okay. For sure. Okay. That's still to the day. If I see a machine, I got a poppy cord. Which, to be honest with you, that's pretty cool because most people that played Atari or grew up with Atari, quote unquote, usually try to say things like, I like Pac Man, which is almost like what it is now with Nintendo. You ask people, oh, what was your favorite Nintendo game? Yeah. Oh, it's Mario. So that's kind of cool. So Galaga was your favorite game. Okay. Galaga was my all-time favorite Atari game on, on that. I love you ever Galaga. played it in the arcades? Yes. Okay. Played it in the arcades. That's why I said anytime I get a chance and I see that game, I got to pop this before. <laughs> oh, no game, matter. It's a, no it's a matter, must. It's a must. Must. Because that game right there was set me off. Really, the Atari set me off. I know they got ColecoVision and all that. Right. But I never got to play that. Right. I can't, I'll be lying to you if I say the truth. I, if I'll be lying to you if I'm saying I did play that. No. Right. I never played Coleco, but I played Atari. Right. Now. My first system that my father bought me was the Sega, um, the Sega Genesis 16-bit. The box came in, I'll never forget it. It was the black box, it had the thing, and it had Ultra Beast in it. It's oh, on the cover. cover. On the cover. Right. It had, yes, it that, was the, that was the launch title. I, never forget. The I got it for Christmas. Right. My, my, my friend, he's like my older brother, is Black Larry. My oh, okay. Kid, okay. Okay. Larry, like a son. Like, his mom was just like, he didn't have a father. Long story short, this is my life, I'm telling you. Yeah, yeah. So I'm explaining. Absolutely. Black Larry used to go, my father at the time worked in a, actually he worked in a uh, gaming toy store. Okay. So when these games would come out, like Nintendo and all that, and certain Genesis games, I would get it. My right. father works there, so the, the Korean guy, Sonny, would be like, go ahead, get my father, before my father got paid, he already gave me a game. Right. 
Right. So when I played Ultra Beast, man, it blew my mind. Okay. When I was a kid, I was young. It's all my favorite from, arcade games from Sega. Rise from your grave. Ah, ah, ah. yeah. So I was young. I'm like, oh, my brother's watching it. He was okay. into, you know, GI Joes. I was into, you know, um, GI Joe. GI Joe. Transformers, and my brother was into GI Joe. Okay. Um, but I was more of a gamer than my brother. So when I got Ultra Beast and I beat Ultra oh, Beast, okay. my father got me Golden Axe. Mm. Then from Golden Axe, it went to the, uh, it's a helicopter game in Genesis. It's like you gotta fly over buildings and you fight these like big tanks and stuff like certain things. Okay. I forgot the name of it, but it was a lot of Genesis games that my father had bought me that I had beaten. Okay. So it was like back then for me that's what that was dope. Right. And I was so into gaming people out there that when I was younger, at a certain time, I wasn't even doing my homework. Because I'd come home, put my bag down, right. and I'd be stuck on Sega Genesis. <laughs> and then Nintendo. The regular Nintendo, Nintendo, when I went to my, I can relate. my cousin's house, my cousin Ricky, mm -hmm. he had the, the Nintendo, the original Nintendo. So my cousin Wally had the original Sega. Okay. See, I had Genesis 16-bit. So wait, your cousin had the Sega Master System? Yeah. Or Sega you, Genesis? No, I had Sega Genesis. And he had the Master System? Yeah, my two cousins. Okay. One okay. brother had Nintendo. The other brother had Sega Master System. Okay. Now, they had their own games. So when I would go over there, they know I had my games. Right. My Sega Genesis, they had Sega and they had Nintendo. So I like Nintendo, too. So okay. My father surprised me and bought me Nintendo with Duck Hunt. Then you had the best of both worlds. Mario. Yeah, so right. my father was giving me little things. Zelda, I think it came in a gold cartridge, I think. Yes. Zelda the original. Absolutely, yes. And when I was playing that, you know, he got the little knight. You doing all that. I was mm -hmm. into Zelda, but not too much into Zelda. You, feel me? you liked it, but it wasn't yeah. like your favorite. I was more into like ghouls and goblins, ghouls and ghosts. Yeah. You know, certain games like that. There, there, was certain, there were certain space games, like, I don't know how to explain it. It's like you shoot electricity out from the sides. It looked like a it looked like a bug kind of, because it was like designed like this. Mm -hmm. But it was a space game, so you flying around and it would shoot like electricity or lightning, like you shooting different things with buns. Okay. I had there's so many games. I had football games with like robots. You know, oh, cyberball. Yeah. I know exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There was a lot of games that I'm thinking of right now. That it's so much in my memories that if if the, I was you know how they do YouTube videos where they show you all the games, I'll point them out to you. Right, right then. The, those are my hearts. Then it went from 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 Nintendo. I had a lot of games for Nintendo too, like Jaws. Mm -hmm. You know, you had Jason. Right. You had a lot of certain games in it. They had a lot of Adam. Yeah. That is, they had a lot of movie license back then because it was that's part of the reason why the Atari and the gaming went into a crash because there was a lot of saturation of games yeah. that were cheap, like they weren't no good. But the guys that were making them. They were still premium around at premium price, meaning at the same price of the games that were actually good quality. Yeah. And that's what made the gaming, you know, industry went into a crash because mm -hmm. of that. That's the reason why during the Atari era. And then that happened with the Nintendo. And then I think the creator of Nintendo, the way he worked it out to be able to bring it to the American shores again and uh, you know, toy manufacturers and companies out here, what they did was they Put Rob the Robot, which I know you know what Rob the Robot is. That used to come with the NES, yeah. the robot that you played Gyromite. Mm -hmm. And they did it to make the console look like a toy, like an interactive toy, and not a video game console. So that's how they were able to pitch it to the American market and the retailers, and they accepted it. But what they didn't know was when that Super Mario Brothers was on, it came with it. Oh, man. And it was created. Because I don't know if it came back then at first. I'm not sure. I don't remember. I think it was Duck Hunt, Jeremiah, and something else. I remember. I don't Duck know if you remember. And the first Mario where he's doing the red ball. Red ball. Out okay. He's like running with okay. white and red. Okay. Well, that. that game took off. Yeah, that was a hit. That's when all the girls and what? boys, everybody was playing. But that's how they, to, you know, to, to let you know, that was a little fun fact, people, um, that happened. That's how all that came about with the crash and then the resurgence, if you will. Of video games once again thanks to the nes which that's, is why i respect nintendo for no that because they right basically there. saved gaming mm -hmm. too bad they're not the same way they were now but i still give them that respect yes. uh, well, for me but yes nintendo will always be the, the godfather of it even though they not they they're contenders mm -hmm. if they really push for it 
But they're right. not. They smart. Well, they they want to stay to the kid level. Right. And they know they got low fans. Right. So they know they're gonna sell, even though a lot of people get upset about all, oh, but they ain't got the real party chat. Yeah. You know, they ain't got this. There's a lot of features that Nintendo should have, and yeah, time went but on. Everybody, behind, yeah, they're behind. But that's just that mental mentality of the right, yeah. guys who run it. That old school mentality. They old school. But it's like I tell everybody. Nintendo saved gaming, but Sega evolved it. Kind of like what Microsoft is doing with my, with evolving it. But, you know, a lot of people have the love for Sony's brand, even though they don't deserve it in a lot of ways. But that's another story. So, so we, we got so far. So basically, Paperboy. Paperboy. Fire. Okay. That was, when so I was your sure. first console was Atari. Let's be clear, right? That wasn't mine. It was my father. Oh, it was your father. Father, got you. That's how I started my, my That's how you started your gaming experience. Genesis. Yeah. But your first console was a Genesis. Genesis. Now let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Okay. When you played the Master System, even though the Genesis was already leaps and full, oh, I'll tell you again. leaps and full behind, yeah. forward. Did you still like the Master System? Yes or no? All right. I'll be honest. With you. When I see Shinobi, <laughs> he jumps. When he throws the stars, and he jumps to the screen. When you miss, you can. Dope. That was fire. But when when I got my Genesis, I had this little thing where you can put in your Genesis, mm -hmm. and it it got like these little cards where you can play old um Sega Sega games. From Sega. Yeah, the, the micro cards. The micro cards. They actually did that for the Triple Graphics. So I had that. I don't know if it came. I don't know if it was um. I think Nintendo had Contra, and then there was a Rambo Commando game. Like together, a Rambo game. Where you oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're talking about Rambo was actually Rambo was on. um Wow, Rambo was on the Master System. But Rambo, they had the license with Sega. But what they did was they used the Commando engine. Yeah. That over the top hand, the game was called Commando. Yeah. And you go this way, and you have the two guys that look yeah. almost like a Kari Warrior. Yeah. And, you go, and you shoot, and you can go. Yes. Yeah. Yes, I know exactly what you know. That was on Sega Master System. Mm. Yes. So, you know, there were certain things that I got to experience. Okay. But when my Genesis days, when my father was buying me on that, I had it. So my cousins was older than me. So remember, I got two cousins I'm going against. Right. Now, my cousin Freddie was Femito. Okay. He was sick. He, was, he, he has... Um, oh, he's sick. Okay. He's sick. Yeah, he has several Oh, but cerebral, that cousin, cerebral my cousin, yes. but he, he He's sick, bro. His arm... Excuse me. His arm is... His hand is like this, you know, it's kind of femito. Yes. But he would grab the controller, bro, and he was nice. I didn't great. understand. Yeah, yeah, I was a kid. Yeah. I was younger. But he tried to games. Skills were good. He was good. Yeah, it happened. I couldn't believe yeah. it. My cousin yeah. was good. Yeah. So, you know, it was, it was, when, when I got my, my system, I was happy. Now, my older cousins would come to see what I got. Right, right, right. So, it was always like, boom, boom, boom. Right. But then, when I go to their house, they show me what they got, and they play. Right. So, I was the only younger cousin good enough to deal with my older cousins because they older than me. Right. So they already know how to play. So I used to give them competition. Like, when I went, you know, I wouldn't have Cousins, when they're that age, they yeah. always want to compete. Always. Yeah, and my aunt used to be ready, cracking and whipping, boy. Ain't you know, she was That's whipping a fact. Because I'm telling you, you know what's that? When you fact. eat 9, 10 o'clock at night, That's and you got that Nintendo Mac, the pad on the yeah, floor, yeah, yeah. and you're doing this. Track and field, baby. What? Track, Track and field. field. You know how that is? <laughs> All I heard was my arm going like this. Wally! Yeah. Right. <laughs> I was young, boy. Two in the morning, I'm making that stomping. <laughs> what the hell? My arm was kicking in the door, waving the four. Four, she had that belt. <laughs> what? <laughs> Swinging and winging. Titi, I ain't do nothing. I was like, playing it off. Playing it off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make me other cousin, right? I know. My I know. other cousins was getting it. I used to be laughing. Like, hey, let me tell you something, ladies and gentlemen. Puerto Rican parents are nuns. At that time, it's not a good picture. Let me tell you. You better go. Make believe you're sleeping. It's not a good time. And by the way, ladies and gentlemen, we have the beautiful privilege to actually have real drinks. Beer. No more virtual bebida on my podcast because it's live. it's live. That's the beauty of it. And we're just rocking out having a refresquito. A refresquito. <laughs> oh man, that's, good. Oh, that's man. a good story. So basically, what it sounds like to me and to most likely the audience that you had the privilege to at least experience multiple consoles, yeah. even though your first real, real console console that you owned was the Genesis. Yes. Now, 
I guess my next question is going to be, is it a safe bet to say that your Genesis was your favorite console of all times? Or did that change as time went on? I, I ain't going to lie to you, man. <laughs> Here we go! Trigger! Uh, yep, I ain't going to lie. Oh, man, the 360 was a bad console. I ain't going to lie. The, play, the original PlayStation right. was a dope-ass console. Right. The original one, not. The first one that came well, out. I, I personally like the first PlayStation mm -hmm. because I felt that it had the same problems Atari had. It had way too many games, and out of all the games it had, maybe 50 were some shit. The rest were all garbage. That's just how I feel about it. He bought it. Okay? Uh, uh, and the other thing is, a lot of the games they had, as we all know, as you may know, and if you didn't, you know, I'll let you know, obviously, they didn't make themselves. They had other people make and you know, buying off licenses and paying off companies like Konami, like Atlas, Data East, Sunsoft, you know, uh, Square Enix, or Square Annex for some, uh, tomato, tomato, to bring their games exclusively to this console because it was the popular one. And, you know, it wasn't because they actually developed teams and helped create new games. Uh, it's kind of like what they're doing now. Yeah. But at the same time, the history is repeating itself. Like, well, it, it, it does in most situations. Yeah, yeah. Certain things, you're like, wow, yo, that happened back then. You know? right. In other words, what I'm trying to say is, I felt the PlayStation was a good console, but I felt it was overhyped. I thought it got way too much yeah. credit yeah. than it deserved. And while you have consoles like the Saturn and out there, even Turbo Graphics, that wasn't to the standard, but they were good consoles. Because they had Turbo Graphics. Yeah. I'll be honest. I'll let you know now the systems I didn't have. I didn't have Sega CD. Okay. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not a liar. I'm not gonna say I had that or try to fool gaze it to make myself. Well, it was an add-on because on the Sega CD was an add-on mm -hmm. because Sega was trying to get ready to bring in their 128-bit console, which was the Saturn. So they were trying to test the waters to see how it was going to be to print these games, how much memory it was going to take, if the technology was more advanced into a CD. It was never been done before. Mm -hmm. So you know, um, it was a big deal, and even Thermal Graphics did their own. CD um, version for the Turbo Graphics 16, which was called the Turbo, I think, Express? No, no, that was the handheld. I think it was a Turbo CD. That's what it was called. And then later they did one called the Turbo Duo, which was basically the Turbo Graphics 16 and the CD in one console built in one. Wow. Yeah. So, so, That's dope. what would be your, your, so you're saying. I'm a, oh, right. Sega CD I didn't have. They had the Dreamcast. I didn't have Turbo Graphics. My cousin Freddy had Turbo Graphics. That's the game I seen with the Jason. Like he had the mask on, you know, and they'd be like, thin, 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 thin. In the background, he'd come with the, he slash the yeah. I remember it was that. He had a basketball game. I used to play with him. And it was a, oh, you talking about Splatterhouse? Splatterhouse. Yeah. From Nanko. That's the game. Yes. yes. Splatterhouse. He about to know your shit. Yeah. <laughs> I tried. I tried. Yo, he about to I'm a fraud. Okay. Oh. Stop it. Nah, he's in. Yes. If he says so. Hey, man, I'll tell you this. You gotta take Ghost's word, right? It's not me. Nah, he knows. Yeah, just put it this way, guys, man. Whoever called this man a fraud or say he was on coke, don't know shit about gaming or nothing. I'm over here chilling out with my man, he, he by. And I'm being honest. If y'all was to see, he's a mini GameStop, bro. He got out. Just put it this way. He got basically almost everything, bro. Well, I got my Kermit the Frog on right now. Shh. I'm telling oh. you, bro. Man, he, man, he, He's showing me stuff. He's blowing my mind. He took me back to a kid, even with toys back then. This mm -hmm. guy is really deep, guys. He's the truth. He's not a lie. He's not a bullshitter. The dude is the truth. He got 360 games. He got well, every console. Bro's well, been drinking a little too much. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being honest, man. I just let no, you know. I, I appreciate it. I really do. This I really man do. is the truth. Bro. I really do. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> but he, um, I had, um, let me see. Neo Geo was too expensive at the time. Yeah, for a lot of us. My own father, that was the first time my father of... told me he couldn't, he couldn't get that. Okay. He said, Papi, no, like, I can't, I can't get you that. Right. But, yeah, most of my life, at a young age, my father did buy me that like, PlayStation 1. I had PlayStation 2. I had, let me see, um, uh, Super <laughs> Nintendo, Nintendo, GameCube, um, uh, I had the Genesis, uh, did I have Sega Saturn? I don't think I had Sega Saturn, but my Dreamcast was great. Like my Dreamcast, yeah. I had 2K. That's when I played 2K. 
it smacked NBA Live out the water. Cause okay. When I was younger, you know, going through school and everything, I was playing sport games. You know, you, I don't think they, they had Madden, but I remember, like, playing Tommy Lee the Soy Baseball. See, a lot of people don't know about that. They must say, oh, but they forgot about it. I'm sure it was a good Tom baseball game. Tommy Lee Soy was a good-ass baseball game. And it was, then it was a Nintendo game we used to play hockey in. Now, I forgot the name of that Nintendo or the hockey game. It was like one fat guy, then a medium guy, then a real skinny what, guy. What, hockey? Yeah, hockey. And Nintendo Was it Hit the Eyes? I don't know if it's Hit the Eyes. Or was ice. it Blades of Steel yeah, from Konami? Right. Yeah. When, they go, when they fight, it's like they go... Yeah, like yeah. A circle, and yeah. a skinny guy yeah. fly out, a fat guy fly yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was, that was that actually was a Konami. So cool. that was and to so be cool. honest with you, I don't know. Kid. I didn't know if you knew. It's no longer available, but... In the game room app that Microsoft did on the 360, they had that game there. You were able to buy it. Yeah. Same thing, they had main event. Yeah, I'll show it to you later. Yeah. Um, but they had it there. And it still exists, but the problem is you can't buy the licensing of those properties anymore. So, yeah, the game is blazing. I know exactly what you're talking about. So, listen, Ghost. How about Top Gun? Yeah. That Remember was, the landing? Uh, oh, no one can get the landing. Yo, the landing was like, ah! Oh, my God. All right. No, no, no. I want you to hold that all right, thought. All right. We're going to start with the Top Gun because I'm doing it to the connect, like I said, people. So please excuse me. We're going to continue because we're 26 minutes in and the connect only gives you 30 minutes uh, without having any issues. Oh, okay. So I'm already at 26, as you can see. Yeah. So we're going to stop there, but we're going to hold that thought. So we're going to come back to the Top Gun issue and topic. What? Stay tuned, people. Thank you.